All right, welcome back students. Today is August 5, 2021. Today is Thursday. All right, so now let's go to the next page. This is the part two of our lesson. Okay, again, our lesson is all about flowers. Okay. So we are going to explore flowers in your region and we will observe and identify the characteristics of flowers. Okay, that's it. So look at this picture, students. In this table, you are going to characterize, okay, characteristics of flowers. Okay, so you are going to write the name of a flowers here. Number one, all right? What is the name of the flower? In what are colors? In the smell, okay? All right, say for example, let's say sunflower. Sunflower, okay? Sunflower, is color yellow okay and the smell is is there a smell of the sunflower of course it's a yes the smell is very good okay so next you are going to write here two flowers okay what is the name of the flower and then what is their color? Not only in our lesson, you can also find outside, okay? That's it, student. And then write number two, the color, is if they have a smell, yes or no. Number three, the color, or if they have smell, yes or no. Okay, that's it, students. Here, number, here, number one. Okay, let's read the instruction. Pick the, this one, pick this circle here, okay? Tick, check in the circle in front of the best answer. I'm sure you know this already, students. Say, for example, okay, number one, what are the characteristics of the flowers you observe? There can be more than one answer. Okay, what is the characteristics? Of course, the characteristic, let's say, the color, they have a color, yes, or a smell, yes, or a taste, no. Okay, so say for example, you again, this, there are, can be more than one answer. That means you can answer two. All right, student, let's say number one. What are the characteristics of the flowers you observe? Let's say um, sunflower. Okay, we have the color and the smell, right? Taste, you cannot uh, taste it, right? Students, it's not a food. Okay, and then number two, which one is red flower with no smell? Again, which one is red flower with no smell? Is it jasmine, hibiscus? or rose. So you are going to answer the circle. Say for example, your answer is rose. Your answer is, check this one. If your answer is jasmine, then you answer this one. Okay, again, there again, the answer sh should be, have, uh, should, you should always pick the correct answer. Okay, number three, what are the colorful flowers found in your region? Okay, so you, again, two flowers found in your region, in your house, outside the house, in the garden or in the park. What kind of flowers is it? And then you are going to put it here. Number one, 3.1 and 3.2. Okay, students, let's say, for example, oh, I saw a, a roses, a rose in, outside my house. Then you can. Then you can 
right here. So for example, rows, that's it. And what is the other one? This is only example, okay, student, and a sunflower. All right, that's it. So this is just an example. You can go outside, take a picture, and then point the, you can go outside and find that flower and take a picture. Then after that, you put the names here, okay? That's it, students. And then you can send a picture to the group. Next, what are the smelling flowers found in your region? Again, number three is colorful. Number four is smelling. Okay, we will talk about smell. What is the smelling flowers? Okay, say so for example, number one is roses or rose. Then you can write it there. There are many flowers in your region, students. All right. So look at this picture here. Where is the butterfly? Can you tell and point where is the butterfly? Very good. Okay. Flowers have different shapes, sizes, and colors. They may be red, white, or yellow. Some flowers have smell, while others do not. Okay. The function of flower is to reproduce by using its color and smell to attract insects. To help mix up pollen to reproduce, the pollination will result in a fruit and seed later. Okay, this one, look at this one, the butterfly. Look, what happened? Why the butterfly is there? Because of, that is the flowers will attract insects, right? To help with pollination of the plants. Okay, that means this, this uh, flower is, smells good, right? Okay, look at these benefits of flowers here. This one, the marigold, we can use to make garland. And this one, we can use cauliflowers to make food. This is a cauliflower. So we use to make it food. You can find it in a market. And this one also, we can arrange roses in the vase. So these are the benefits of flowers. Okay, so in this portion, student, you don't need to do anything here. Okay, this is just an information for you to know the benefits of flowers. Okay, that's it, students. So we are end of part two lesson. So that's it. Thank you so much for listening. And we'll see you again in the next class. Bye-bye.